Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I go by London Cooks, and today we're gonna to be cooking curry fish. Let's get right into it. The ingredients that I'm going to be cooking this fish with today, I'm gonna to be using garlic powder, black pepper, salt, ground ginger, Jamaican curry powder, Maggie fish seasoning, or you can use your favorite fish seasoning, whichever you prefer. One large carrot, which I did cut into sticks. A half of white onion and three cloves of garlic, which I did mince. Two really large tablespoons of my fresh blend and the ingredients for my fresh blend is listed below. Pimento seeds and most importantly, time. Today I'm using three yellowtail snappers, which I did wash these already with lemon juice and water. I also re-cleaned and rescaled my fishes. Next, I'm going to prep each fish by scoring both sides of each fish. Now the purpose of scoring your fish is just to ensure that the seasoning penetrates into your fish. Also, the reason why I'm using yellowtail snappers in comparison to red snappers, I found that yellowtails are a little less bonier than red snappers. Also, I noticed that the flesh of yellowtails appear a lot more firmer in comparison to red snappers, um, making it a lot easier to work with and personally I think it tastes better. Next, I'm going to prep my seasons that I'm gonna to use to season my fish. And all that I'm using is one tablespoon of that Maggie fish seasoning and a half a tablespoon of black pepper, which I will combine in the bowl. And I'm going to sprinkle um, my seasoning over the fish, ensuring that I generously season my fish, getting up into the head, the belly, um, every single wear. But you do not want to over season your fish and the reason for that is that will result in a very salty finished product don't be that guy my fishes after I was done seasoning them and I wanted to show you guys that they are not heavily seasoned I did also allow these to marinate for about four hours and I did have this much seasoning left um, but no worries we're gonna make use of that stay tuned I added olive oil to my cast iron skillet pot and I added enough just to coat the pot I also went in with one and a half tablespoons of curry powder. Now I did not season my fishes with curry powder so I'm somewhat trying to make up for that here. I also allowed my curry to burn for about one to two minutes and once that was ready I somewhat did a one pot with everything which I will now show you. I'm now gonna go in with two and a half cups of water just to get my sauce started before I add my fishes. 
And in addition to that, I did add a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and I did add enough salt to taste. Now, I'm going to encourage you guys to taste your pot as you go. Everyone has different lichens, and you know, it's just really important to taste your pot as you go because even though I'm doing this tutorial, you just never know. So taste your pot as you go. If you're missing something, go ahead and add it. If your pot is too salty, add some water. And another pointer is if you did heavily or over season your fishes, I would definitely advise to go in with a little extra water to your pot just to balance out that salt. I also added the remainder of that fish season that we prepped earlier to my pot and I'm just going to allow this sauce to come to a boil before adding my fishes in the pot. Once your fishes have been added to the pot, it's very important to constantly cover each fish with your gravy. Um, this is going to ensure that your fish sucks up that flavor from the gravy. And something else that you notice that I keep doing is shaking my pot. And the reason for that is to prevent my fish um, from sticking to the pot. I completely forgot to add my pimento seeds to the pot, so I'm gonna go in with those right now, and I'm gonna also cover my pot at this point in time and allow the steam to do its thing. Something very important that I forgot to mention earlier, you guys, I started out cooking on a medium low heat, and that's when I was sauteing the vegetables and also um, allowing the sauce to come to a boil. Now, once I added my fishes to the pot, I lowered my heat to a medium low. Depending on the material of your pot, you may or may not need to lower your heat some more. Um, but something that I also ensured that I kept doing even as my pot was covered, I continued to shake the pot just to allow the fishes to move about in the pot. Um, and the reason for that again is to prevent my fishes from sticking as they cooked. My fishes were done cooking after about 45 minutes and if you guys can smell this pot right now, oh my god. We had this fish with some crushed green bananas and also plantains on the side and it was the most comforting thing ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and also follow me on Instagram.